Hey scrapbookers, it's it's me, Katie Scott, and a couple of people have asked me to um, show this uh, this section of my new scrapbooking room, and um, this middle section is a five by five exhibit from IKEA, and then I've added a one by five on each side. So I have five down and seven across, <laughs> right? That's a lot, and so each um, of the, the cubes will accommodate comfortably four, three um, ring binders, three, four, uh, <laughs> four, three ring, 12 by 12 binders, so, and then maybe a couple of post bounds. Um, I probably cram five in there, but I don't. Um, so I have seven times three. So my albums go all across the bottom. So seven times three is 21 times four would be 84, I think, eight albums <laughs> at least. Um, that's probably the tip of my Albert album iceberg. <laughs> um, no, actually, most of my albums are here. Um, most of them are kind of like this. They're about half full. So I have room to grow with this system, and I really consolidated all of the albums that were kind of spread out all over the house um, into one place. And so it's nice to have them all together. Um, before, when, I, when they weren't all together, I would have one section for family history over here, one section for my son over here, one section for my daughter over there. And basically those sections have remained, um, but I've just divided them up. So a couple of the, the units are, like these are more current. Where my son's is, maybe it's supposed to be this one. Um, so these are like current albums. So when I when I make a page now, I put it in this empty one. So there's actually an empty space. Um, the layouts go in here when I'm finished with them, before I photograph them, before they go into the albums, and then. Um, I've got a flip thing downstairs where they live for a period of time. When that thing gets filled up, then I'll come up and put a bunch of the scrapbook pages into the albums. But So these are current albums. They're my son, my daughter, school, and play. And then I have another shelf like that over here. Well, I used to. <laughs> I don't know what I did with it. I guess I spread it out. But my other current ones are... Ancestry, I do a lot of ancestry scrapbooking, um, places, things. It's kind of the Stacy Julian um, Library of Memories system. So I'll show you this. Um, the two bottom units here are all my daughter. <laughs> so I've got daughter, daughter, and then son, son. So I've got two units for him. And then this one in the middle here is um, school. And I've even got one for food which is surprisingly full. <laughs> um, then we go into, okay, these are more current albums here. So I think they are. Yeah, these are full of page protectors. So these are not full of scrapbook pages. But um, yeah, this whole shelf is just albums full of page protectors. So. These albums can be filled up, and I have plenty of page protectors to um, put all the scrapbook pages that I make furiously <laughs> um, into the uh, album. So that's my kind of supply, but it just looks like the rest of them. Down here I've got um, people and family, and then on the bottom, um, my husband and I, our albums. Uh, these albums are so pretty. They're some of my favorite, and um, they're not very full, but they're from, these are from American Crafts, and they were Dear Lizzie, and they're, it's this, and it's like cloth, and it's just, I just love it. I love these. I wish I had, I had them on sale at Two Piece, and I just love them. They're so pretty, and I like that they're all together. Um, the rest of my albums are kind of all different colors, but this is the 1970s, 80s, 90s, 
and then 2000 to 2009. Um, and then the next the next shelf is 2009. This is when I started doing Project Life, 2009. I don't know where 2010 is, but it does exist. I don't know where it is. 2011, 2012, and then I've got my 2013 over there at my workspace. This is an Ancestry album. I've got Ancestry and Family in those two bottom places, and then these red ones are places and my college trips to Europe. And then we have things, best pictures, more things, home places, music. They're all, I've labeled all of them with um, a Brother P Touch label. So it makes it really easy, even if they're not, I think my sections could be a little more defined but it doesn't really matter that much because I've got everything labeled with the Brother P-Touch labels and um, they, they remove easily so I can, and then they re-stick easily so I can move those around. Then I get the four seasons here, spring, summer, fall, and winter. And then Christmas, the holidays, a general celebrate, a birthdays, and, excuse me, a Halloween. This middle row here, is um, paper, and I just got rid of a hoard of paper. <laughs> and this is by far, no, <laughs> this is not all of my paper, but I would like it to be all of my paper someday. <laughs> I'd like to cull down to get to this point. Um, I'm very far away from that. Uh, let me just check the time. Um, I got about one more second. Okay, so these ones are organized by manufacturer. So I have new papers, Echo Park, crate paper, I've got an empty shelf. Um, then I put Simple Stories and Jelly Bean Soup on the, same, on the same category. I've got another empty shelf, Studio Calico, uh, Dear Lizzie, Fancy Pants and Doodle Bug I put on the same shelf. Um, Pink Paisley and Heidi Swap I put on the same shelf. Um, then on the same shelf I put October Afternoon, Sassafras, and Cosmo Cricket all together. And then I also put Basic Gray and Mind's Eye together. Um, up here are started pages. So those are what I call my half-baked pages. And then I go into the colors. So I have, and I have not arranged them in the rainbow. I really should have. Um, I think this is Christmas. Grid paper, yellow, orange, red. And then I've got aqua blue, pink, white, white, and an empty shelf. I've got specialty cardstock over here, black, green, which really should move over here, um, brown. I have ancestry type papers like family trees and that sort of thing. And then other specialty papers like transparencies and that, that sort of thing. And then up here, these are mostly empty right now. So I, I have. Like, this is by, no, like, I don't have, <laughs> yeah, I have two little tiny things in here. So this is a still a work in progress. Um, what I had initially thought was that I would put embellishments by color up here. I'm not sure that I'm going to do that. Um, they, it might, that might change. I might get rid of them all together. I sort of like the way they look. I sort of don't like the way they look. I might paint them a different color. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Um, and then in these bins, I have di like ribbon. I have mini book uh, stuff. I've got beads, frames, yarn, more mini book stuff or stuff to alter, and stamps. And these are kind of just storage right now. So I would like to actually move that stuff out of my space and make it more active. So I still have a lot of work to do in this room, but thank you for joining me. I'm Katie Scott with Kiss and Tell Scrapbooking.